If I didn't live, you probably wouldn't even know about Breonna Taylor. For Kenneth Walker, Breonna Taylor was more than a hashtag, more than a symbol. More than a girlfriend, too. I think that's what I want the world to know the most. That was my best friend. The most important person pretty much to me on the earth, and they took her. The night of March 12th, Walker says, started out as a regular date night. He went out to eat, went back in the house, playing Uno, you know, watching a movie. He describes Taylor falling asleep before the two of them were startled by a loud bang at her front door. Walker told investigators they began yelling to see who it was. You no, know, nobody was responding when we were saying, who is it? I'm not a million percent sure that nobody identified themselves. In the interview, Walker describes grabbing his gun, a Glock 43, which he legally owns, and the two of them stepping into the hallway. That's when Walker says Taylor's front door flew open and he fired one shot. I don't think I ever heard so many gunshots, like, all at the same time. I pulled her down to the ground. But, you know, she was just scared, so she just didn't get down when all the gunfire stopped. She was, like, bleeding and stuff, and I was holding her. You know, then that's when I called my mom. It's just one of those calls as, as a mom that we hope we never get. Felicia Walker says she told her son to call 911 and then went to Taylor's apartment on Springfield Drive. Her interaction with one of the LMPD investigators was captured on audio. I called back again, and when he finally, finally picked up, I heard somebody screaming in the back, put it down, put it down. And it sounded like a police officer. Right. And he was like, I'm talking to my mama. Mama, I'm scared. Mama, I'm scared. Walker called 911 and told the dispatcher his girlfriend had been shot. He says at that point, he still didn't know it was police who had busted down the door. He walks out of the apartment and is met with officers yelling and pointing guns at him. Walk straight back or I'll send this dog on you. Walk back to my voice. Walk back or I'll send this dog. Walker is placed in handcuffs, put in a police cruiser, and taken to LMPD's public integrity unit. He says he was surprised when officers took the handcuffs off, but was even more surprised to hear he was being accused of shooting a police officer. But I was more concerned about, is he okay and is Brianna okay? At this point, I still didn't even know if she was alive or not. Walker says he found out Taylor was dead the next day when he saw it on the news as he sat in a jail cell. And it said one, you know, female dead. It confirmed it. You know, I, I didn't know for sure what condition, you know, she was in when I left. So I didn't know what they did. But as these body cam videos are still coming out, I see they did nothing. Walker says he's now seeing a therapist to help cope with the loss of the woman he one day planned to marry and start a family with. It's like March 13th every day, pretty much. I never got to say bye. So that makes a big deal, it makes a big difference. Walker was charged with attempted murder of a police officer. Those charges were later dismissed, but were done so without prejudice, which means he could still face criminal prosecution. Denny Camber, WLKY News.